Hi, this is Mark Widower with TrafficAndConversion.com, and today we're going to talk about uh, how to improve your squeeze page, right? And you're going to learn four simple steps for getting more leads and more sales for free. So, what uh, what what are the parts of a squeeze page? Let's before we get started with the tips, let's just talk about what's on a squeeze page, right? So here's a uh, a typical squeeze page here, right? Um, and uh, so what's on this page? Well, basically what we have here is a compelling offer. Right, we have some kind of an offer that we are trading for the user's name and email address. That's what's going on here. Uh, at the top here, we have a headline. In this case, it says how to triple your tips in just seven days. So this is actually for a, uh, a squeeze page for waiters and waitresses to learn how to improve their tips. Um, there's body copy. That's this part here. Um, there's the form. This is where somebody enters their name and email address. Um, and this form is actually connected to a mailing system, also called an autoresponder system. Um, and then what you don't see here is the thank you page. That would be the page that somebody gets to next, right? The, the important part here is whatever you're promising somebody here on this page, uh, that's your commitment to keep, right? You've got to keep that promise in, your, uh, in the emails that you send and also on the thank you page. So the first tip we're going to talk about is how to make an offer that matters, right? Um, your offer really is uh, one of the most important parts of this page. Um, now the offer itself can be an ebook, it can be some kind of a special report, an email course, um, access to some uh, audio recordings or some video recordings. Right? But what I want you to remember is that you got to focus on the benefit of that information, whatever form it takes, you got to focus on the benefit of that information to the prospect, right? So if you look at the offer that's being made here about um, tripling your tips in seven days, um, the the offer is where you're going to get to make more money if you're a waiter or a waitress, right? So I want you to think about the importance of what you're offering and how the uh, that will affect the person that you are trying to attract, all right? Um, second tip, create a headline that creates curiosity. So, um, you know, if we were just to call this something like uh, ways to be a better waiter or something like that, that wouldn't really be a very you know, motivating thing, right? I mean, waiters probably think that they're good enough at being a waiter. What they probably think is that most customers just don't tip them appropriately. So if we are showing them um, something that's going to serve their self-interest, um, I think they're going to be a lot more attracted to what this is. Now, this is very much related to the offer, right? The whole discussion of the offer. Well, your headline has to bring that offer to life. So how to triple your tips in just seven days, um, that is going to uh, be a very compelling, it, it's a very direct way to express what the uh, what the offer is, right? Um, the headline on this page or any page, that's the ad to get people to buy into reading the rest of the page. If you don't have a headline that is going to be compelling enough or create curiosity, uh, open up a question that people need to have answered, then um, they're not going to read the rest of the page. As a matter of fact, a headline is, uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of tests done on this, frequently it's said that it's 80% of the effectiveness of almost any web page. Um, and uh, so if they don't read the headline, there's a very, very slight chance they're going to read anything else. Or if they don't get past the headline, you know, they're not going to read anything else, right? Another thing you need to do is to uh, write some good copy for the rest of the page. Um, I've seen a lot of squeeze pages that say, hey, you can get your free course here, and I'm going to have uh, seven lessons, and it's going to, um, they're going to come by email, and you're going to, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's really boring stuff, right? So um, what I want you to understand is that the body copy matters, right? I mean, the headline, the job of the headline is to get you to read the body copy. The job of the body copy is to get you to fill out this form here. Everything has a responsibility, right? Um, now, the top part here, this is introductory text. What this needs to do is it needs to connect with the reader, right? It transitions somebody from uh, from this headline into the rest of the uh, into the rest of the message, the rest of the page. Um, then you have your bullets and benefits. This is going to lay out some of the specific things that um, are being uh, offered uh, that are part of the offer. So I don't know if you can read this, but it, you know it talks about a technique that can instantly increase a women's tip by 18 percent, but will decrease a man's tips by as much as 10 percent. That's interesting. So what these do, these bullets here, these need to connect to the benefits that you are uh, that you're offering somebody. And then you're going to have a call to action, right? Here's the call to action paragraph here. That's this part right here above the form, 
this call to action needs to take somebody you know from thinking about what these benefits are and say look you're gonna get that um, all you have to do right what's the instruction all you have to do is fill out this form right here right now there is one other part with and this really is some copywriting you have this uh, privacy and spam protection policy sometimes you can have this on another page but I find that it's more effective to have this right on the same page so people can see it without having to leave the opt-in page that they're on okay um, last part optimize your opt-in form now you might think well what can you do with a, you know a form like this to make it work even better um, well wait, let me under explain first the importance of this form this connects uh, your page here and your traffic to your autoresponder system. Um, it collects the name and the email address and it adds that name and email address to your list. And your list, as you know, is what we're trying to build. Here's two important points. Number one, ask as little as possible. The least amount that you need in order to get somebody, uh, in, in order for the lead to be effective. So in this case, we're just asking for a first name and a primary email address, right? An email address that somebody really, really reads. Here's a second tip to make this form better for you. Include an action button. Now, a lot of people, they talk about, you know, there being a submit button, or I should say, on most forms, by default, what they do is they add a submit button, and the regular text in there just says submit. What I want to have you do is put some text in there that relates to the same benefit that you are talking about right here. Didn't draw that arrow very well, right? It's the same benefit you talk about in your headline and throughout the whole page. Okay, so look, those changes, I mean, each one of those can, can affect your opt-in rate uh, maybe a little bit, maybe a lot. It can be, you know, each one of those can have um, either a small or a very, very big effect depending on what you're starting with. Um, you know, there's poor landing pages, I should say poor squeeze pages that might, you know, get 5 to 10% of the people that opt in or maybe even zero. A uh, good, fair, performing uh, squeeze page will do about 20 or 25%, just about average. A great one. That's what you're shooting for, 30 to 50 percent or more, um, and uh, you know you can do that if you if you're driving good targeted traffic. What you need to remember though is that more leads equal more sales for you, and these leads, you know, once they hit that page, these leads to to get more leads from the same amount of traffic, it's free for you. So you want to work hard to do this. Um, these uh, these changes that you make, they're incremental. I mean, each one of them is going to add a little bit all together. You're really going to like what you see when you uh, when you start implementing small changes like these. Um, so look, you may have some more questions about squeeze pages and landing pages or any other part of internet marketing. Um, go ahead and leave your question on the comment below. It should be on this page right down there somewhere. Um, go ahead and just uh, type in your question. You might see a read more button or a comment button. Just go ahead and click that, and uh, if if that's what you see, otherwise you should see a form. Just go ahead and fill it out, um, and. Uh, um, I will do my best to answer more questions in the days to come, but uh, you got to ask, okay? Um, I'm also curious to know if you would like uh, like a complete how-to, step-by-step, longer video showing you uh, you know all the nitty-gritty, dirty parts, HTML, FTP, editing the page, connecting it to the autoresponder, um, more on writing copy, things like that. So let me know if uh, uh, if you'd like more instruction about things like this as well. Okay, great. Thanks for uh, for watching this video. I hope it has really helped you, and most of all, I hope that you put these tips to use on your own squeeze page. Okay, if you're getting uh, low conversions on your squeeze page now, um, try these out. Um, actually, you know, in addition to leaving your uh, your questions and comments below, go ahead and tell me how these have worked for you, and uh, maybe we can help some other people along the way. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you at the next video. But don't forget to leave your comment. Bye.